All right, Pistons fans, so in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a review of Jaden Ivey's Summer League debut, the fifth overall pick by the Detroit Pistons in the 2022 NBA Draft. And last night, the Pistons got the W. We took the victory 81 to Portland's 78. But before we get into all of that, please make sure you guys like this video. Today's like goal is 400 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm trying to get to 7K subscribers. So if you're new around here, please subscribe. Now let's get into this. Now first, let's take a look at the stats from Ivy's performance. He dropped 20 points, had six assists, six rebounds. He was six for six from the free throw line. So 100% from there. And then from three point land, he was 40%, two for five from three and then lastly he was a negative two in the plus minus category now the first thing that i noticed right out the gate is that Jaden ivy has natural chemistry with jalen duren the first play of the game where the pistons scored was a play where ivy threw up an alley-oop pass to duren so right off the bat i just knew that those two guys together already had natural chemistry from the first play and throughout the rest of the game there were just multiple times where ivy looked to get duren the ball so that was the first thing that i noticed that i really did enjoy from him the second thing that i noticed from ivy in that game against portland is just the way that he's able to you know get past his defenders by just using his burst and acceleration I can easily see in a few years from now when Ivy continues to work in the gym, I can easily see him being one of the fastest players in the NBA one day. He is extremely quick and he uses that to his advantage when it comes to driving in the lane and running in transition. Now the next thing that I would say is that Jaden Ivy is a patient passer. Now I did see somewhere on Twitter, some people were saying that Ivy was a little bit too passive, but I disagree. I felt like he had a nice balance of being aggressive while at the same time looking to involve others. And especially on the fast break, you know, Ivy, whether it was him, you know, having the ball in his hands or if he was passing it to an open teammate, you know, he just knows how to push the ball on the fast break. Now let's talk about a few of the negatives from Ivy's performance and his debut. Um, the biggest thing for me is probably his shooting. Now, I did mention that earlier in this video, he was 40% from three. He hit two out of his five three-point shots, but that doesn't really tell the full story. You know, I felt like overall, Ivy was pretty inconsistent when it came to shooting in his debut. And I do believe that that's something that we're gonna see, you know, for the majority of his rookie season. He's gonna have times where he constantly knocks down shots, but then we'll see other times where it will look like Ivy can't hit anything. So I think we're gonna see a mixed bag seeing Ivy shoot. He is definitely an inconsistent shooter. The next thing that I would say about Ivy's game is that he did play a little too fast at certain times. You know, it just felt like he was just running and running and, you know, didn't really slow down in a few plays, kept on trying to drop to the lane and, you know, force things. And it ties back into, you know, him forcing things is that he should have recognized what the Portland Trailblazers were doing to him. What Portland was doing is basically, as soon as Ivy drove to the lane, they would collapse on him. They would send another defender out to double team Ivy. And what Ivy should have realized as a point guard is, hey, every time I drive to the lane, I get double teamed. So he should have immediately thought in his mind to pass the ball. But that's something that he will learn, you know, in time in the NBA as he gets more experience. This was just, you know, his first summer league game. So that's basically all that I have to say about Ivy's debut. It was really slow in the first and second quarter, but he really picked it up late in the third and then most of the fourth quarter. That's when he really calmed down and, and slowed his game down a little bit. He did pick up a technical foul, but I don't really care about that. You know, he just threw the ball in the air out of frustration and they gave him a text. So all in all, I'm happy with Ivy's debut. It's the first summer league game, so it's kind of hard to judge these things, but you know, that's my take on it. So Pistons fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 6K and I'm out.